I'm seeing a lot of videos right now where they say, oh, we're taking an impression or a closer look, but they're not really talking about it. Anyway, <laughs> I got to do this video. What up? What up, gamers? We're right here. Oh, f I already messed up the intro. <laughs> what up, gamers? The Nintendo Switch has just been announced just a couple of hours ago. Um, there are a lot of videos out there and information about the system uh, on impressions and, of course, the specs and how it plays out. But not a lot of details have been um, presented yet. So I'm right here. I'm going to give you guys the full details or semi-full details of the Nintendo Switch. And if you guys like the video, eh, you guys already know what to do. Why not give it a like? And of course, later down the line, if, uh, leave a, a comment on the uh, on the comment section below. I'm actually gonna make a comment video uh, featuring you guys talking about the Nintendo Switch. And of course, here it is. Let's talk about the Nintendo Switch in full detail. Alright, here it is everybody, the Nintendo Switch has just been announced, if you guys don't know what the S Nintendo Switch is yet, it is Nintendo's brand new console, hybrid uh, console, a handheld hybrid that they're going to be releasing on March 3rd. Honestly, I'm personally excited about it, but they didn't touch on a lot of the finer details in the presentation, and a lot of the YouTubers and a lot of um, media are actually checking it out right now, but I'm here to bring you guys the full, so, not full, but Part of the fine details and specs of the Nintendo Switch, starting off with the console itself or with the screen. They didn't mention this, but actually this screen has a lot of features in it uh, in itself. For example, as you guys can see, the top part has the power button. It has the, you, you could actually put in the game card, the volume buttons on top right there, and the audio jack. There's these little holes at the top right there, which I can only assume is the exhaust port because if you're playing games like Skyrim, let's face it, it is a demanding game for processing speed and graphical capabilities. It is gonna, the system is gonna overheat in addition to the fact that it has um, a screen there and speakers, all that technology working together does take a toll on the system. So of course, an exhaust port is, uh, there's a chance that the top part right there is an exhaust port. Of course, they didn't mention this on the presentation, but the screen at the bottom of the screen on the left and right areas there's a little holes there it is actually the speakers of the system but there's speakers right in front of the screen and moving to the back side of it you have your kickstand and of course the micro sd slot at the bottom of the screen in itself and the usb-c connector now there's another thing that they did not mention in the event is the fact that the Nintendo Switch will have a 32 gigabyte internal memory, and you could expand it with a micro SD slot, uh, with a micro SD. But they did not mention how big, whether it is just limited to 64 gigabytes. But I'm assuming you could go all the way up, maybe 250 gigs. I'm assuming, or hopefully, if somebody, uh, if maybe there are SD cards out there that are one terabyte, and you can kind of pop it in. But I doubt Nintendo's gonna go that high. <laughs> Moving on to the dock. The dock actually has a lot of, uh, a little bit of uh, stuff they haven't mentioned. It's USB 2.0. There's two ports to it on the side, as you guys can see. There's a TV output LED, so when you dock it on, um, on the dock in, in itself, it, it, if it lights up, that means you're in TV mode, practically speaking. In the back of it, of course, I'm also checking it out here on my uh, laptop. So if, if it's weird that I'm looking here and then. You guys it's because i'm reading it out there's an ac port uh, there's your adapter port at the back your hdmi port and of course your you another usb port so just in case the two in the front have already been taken there's another thing in the back maybe you could do more with the console using a usb port but though those are features that they have not mentioned yet of course moving on to the controllers these are the the top of uh, Nintendo Switch. It's not the fact that it's portable. The Joy-Con controllers, the detachable controllers where you could practically play in different ways. It has shoulder buttons on the inside of the controllers. When you pull it out, you actually have shoulder buttons left and right on the inside of the controllers. It has sensors. It has, a well, it, the, well in terms of motion, as a IR motion camera. What that means, as they showed in the presentation, is that it could detect if your hand makes like a rock, paper, scissors, and it could, it could detect different gestures, I'm assuming. Also, at the back of the controller are the release buttons. You press those buttons to release the Joy-Con controllers. 
and of course reattach them back inside the sides of the controller as you could see you have the led lights and of course the sync buttons when you press it no, oh, uh, did I miss anything? Each left and right stick is clickable. They didn't mention this. It's kind of weird that they didn't. There's a sharing capability on the controller. On the left controller, there's a little button there. You press it, you actually capture, I'm assuming just a photo for the current moment. You could share your album or your photos online through social medias or social feeds. We're not sure if you could record video games yet in terms of, uh, capturing those awesome moments in Mario Kart or Smash Brothers and uploading them, uploading them to the internet. And moving on to the Joy-Con grip, not a lot. There's the LEDs as you see, and then there's the back side of the control uh, of the grip. Not much, not much to see there. The Joy-Con grip, on the other hand, of course, in itself is more of a, an addition to make the Joy-Cons itself feel a little more comfortable because the buttons on the Joy-Cons are actually inside for the shoulder buttons. So if you attach this, it kind of makes it so that it's more an er more ergonomic in terms of design. So that's what the Joy-Con attachment or Joy-Con straps function as. They've already said that the battery life is going to be lasting between three to six hours. Now that depends on the game. And they finally mentioned that Legend of Zelda, which kind of sucks, you will only get three hours of battery life on if you're on to go. Obviously speaking, Legend of Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild is a looks like a very demanding game. It's a demanding game and of course it will take a toll on the battery. In addition to that, I'm assuming the same goes with Skyrim HD. But stuff like, you know, 1-2 Switch, I believe you, uh, I believe or I'm, I'm already uh, predicting that you could go full on 6 hours on the 1-2 Switch or even more maybe. Screen resolution. They didn't mention the screen resolution of course on the presentation but it is a 6.2 inch multi-touch dis uh, display so that means you're familiar with your iPhone or your smartphones these are multi-touch capacitive screen this is what the, the screen is gonna be like well, not exactly this is a 6.2 inch screen with a resolution of 1280 by 720 that's pretty darn good that's actually good for portable or a portable gaming console system on the go it's not as good as the what you'll see with the uh, Samsung galaxies and iPhones but it's good enough for Good enough to play with a lot of games like uh, Mario Kart, Smash Brothers, and whatnot, where the screen, where you know, if if, if your character is a little too small to see, a higher uh, resolution makes it a little easier to see those to see those characters, especially in games like Smash Brothers, where you're where the screen just zooms out. So another thing they forgot to mention, or they didn't they, they mentioned little of, is the online service. So as far you uh, as far as you guys know right now, the initial launch of the online service for Nintendo is going to be free up until fall. They haven't mentioned the price point yet. I've actually looked around the internet and see what the price point is, but apparently it is not mentioned. The moment you buy your Nintendo Switch. Your on the online features for it is absolutely free as a trial until until fall. Then that's when you start paying for your for the subscription fee. In addition to that, they didn't touch on a lot of the mentions of of what you're going to be getting in terms of online features, but they are they are discussing online love uh, online lobbies voice chat which is good because uh, right now Nintendo has left kind of a sour taste in terms of online capabilities and their online features with previous iteration of Nintendo consoles. It's cool that they're finally adding on lobbies, voice chat, and they're even adding monthly downloadable games that are free for people who have subscribed to it and of course exclusive deals for their Nintendo eShop. There's a lot of stuff on the uh, that's there's a lot of stuff that's cool on the eShop having free games every month and of course exclusive deals in addition to that is a wonderful addition to the uh to the nintendo switch i was about to say the nx it's been a while since i uh called it the nx for the full details here it is as you guys can see this is what you're going to be getting as a service subscription you're going to be uh if you subscribe to their service you're going to have online gameplay you're going to have a uh, online lobby and voice and voice chat you're going to have the free monthly download exclusive deals and if you don't have a subscription, you'll have access to these services, of course, access to the eShop, you could register and manage your friends, share screenshots to your social media, and of course, access to your Nintendo Parental Control app. That's practically what you have if you're just a non-subscriber. But if you have, uh, if you are subscribing to Nintendo's um, online service, you'll get those 
plus the ones I mentioned before, including online gameplay, um, um, voice chat, online lobby, uh, monthly download and exclusive deals. What else did they miss? All right now, in terms of sharing your the content you capture via gameplay, so they haven't mentioned this, but you could actually share content online not a lot of content it's more so you could screenshot or, or capture your favorite moment they haven't discussed any um video recording that you could share online yet but as of right now you could actually screen capture what yet whatever you're playing and you could actually add text and share it on your favorite social media but it is nice that nintendo is kind of moving forward in terms of user sharing experience because right now the other consoles like the xbox and the playstation one of the reasons why they're so popular is because you could actually share the moments you find in game and the fact that nintendo is doing that too is actually really cool i do hope later down the line that they do add the sharing uh, share your video functionality with that there you guys have it that was a finer look or a fuller look in terms of details for the nintendo switch if i've missed anything let me know in the comment section below like i said at the beginning of this video i'm going to be featuring comments on the next video where i just read it i'm going to put the comments up right here so if you guys have any more to share make sure you guys put it on the comment section below and of course if you guys like the video you know it would help out if you do like there you guys have it once again everybody thank you very much for joining me on your gaming update my name is jazzy make sure you guys check out our other videos i just came back from ces not too long ago so we have ces interviews there as well so if you guys want to check that out head over to our youtube page or check out the other videos just click on our uh, channel and of course visit our website at gamerspack.com and our social media on facebook twitter instagram and twitch where we stream every friday night at 10 p.m so there you guys have it thank you very much for watching make sure you guys keep on gaming and for more nintendo switch updates make sure you guys stick right here gamerspack.com or at doing that i'm always in a hurry to talk about a lot of other stuff i'm gonna do more research on this laptop uh about a nintendo switch and if there's anything else that comes up of course i'm gonna let you guys know Whew. i really hope it came out good because there's gonna be a lot of editing and reshooting jesus